Okay, hi guys, and welcome to today's show. Today we're gonna to be doing a buyer's guide part two. I think we did part one uh, almost a month ago now, and that was just covering the, the bare basics, you know, quartz, mechanical, that kind of thing. Today I'm gonna to be concentrating on eBay and sharing uh, the kind of things I look out for when I'm buying on eBay. Um, I'll be sharing some bargains, that kind of thing. What areas of eBay uh, to check out so in a moment we'll get on with that also a double unboxing thank you very much to my good friend Arthur a patron member who's lent in two uh, quite special watches so I'll be doing my unboxing initial impressions and then a review will follow up in a few weeks or so um, so first of all oh, I haven't even done wristwatch check uh, I'm wearing the little Jujaro the Ripley Jujaro from the Aliens film uh, I'm so glad I didn't sell this watch. Certainly a very special piece, limited edition. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea. A lot of people really despise it. And you know, it has that Marmite effect. I, yeah, I, I can see why. It's very, very 80s. Unfortunately, it's a little bit loose now. Um, the sizing of the bracelet is murder to do. One of the most, Oh God, um, finicky bracelets ever to do, but I, I'm probably gonna have to change it again. I absolutely adore this watch, very, very fun. And I've decided, look, I'm not gonna baby it, I'm gonna wear it. Um, I might even wear it outside, out and about, uh, see if I, uh, people, you know, say anything, because it's just, it's just so, it's so out there, isn't it? I can't sit in the safe and, and, and you know, you can't baby these things. I've got to enjoy it. So I'm um, really, really having fun wearing this piece. Anyway, so wristwatch check done. Let's roll the intro and get on with this episode. switch perspectives and have a closer look at shopping on eBay, the kinds of things I look out for. Uh, so let's get into that right now. Okay, and here we are guys having a look at eBay. Now of course, uh, for today's example, I will use my little Tudor day date. Well actually, we can look at uh, the day dates and the dates versions, which are all fantastic uh, buys on eBay, but you have to be careful and I thought I'd share with you kind of telltale signs of what to look out for um, So here is mine now do excuse the little chip in the glass at the um, 11 o'clock position I have actually ordered a new glass and I'm going to have this fixed uh, But I also thought I'd share with you this beautiful crocodile real genuine crocodile strap and it just works so elegantly with the gold. Uh, this is a 35 millimeter watch with the um, linen gold 14 karat dial and fluted bezel. Uh, beautiful day date complication. And I paid, and I'll be I'll be completely open and honest. I mean, I know it's vulgar to talk about prices, but uh, certainly is bad manners. But uh, because uh, you know, I'm trying to educate here. I paid. Uh, 14 no no wait 1350 I think for this uh, and that's dollars and uh, just the head of the watch um, no no box no papers uh, but it is completely legit all absolutely original and all I had to add was a was a nice strap to it uh, so I'm very chuffed to bits you do take a bit of a gamble but with eBay these days you are protected um, they do protect the buyers uh, so you just got to be wary of what to look out for and so that's what we'll have a look at today So here we are in front of eBay and I'm filming it like this just so I can bring in this as reference and Show you the differences between what's posted and this one here. Let's first of all. Let's type in Tudor prints and See what comes up. Let's just zoom in a little bit 250 listings here and there's quite an awful oh that's a pretty cool one with a is that a pokemon i think it's a i've never seen that before from hong kong yeah well 
I'd avoid that. I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Now here, the first thing we notice is some telltale signs that something's a bit off. We have a dial with, a, you know, this is a vintage Tudor with a Pokemon character on the dial. So Pokemon, I don't, well, it can't be older than a couple of maybe 10 years. And this is a watch from the 70s. So this is a telltale sign that something is off here. And also the price, 695 Hong Kong. I don't mean to generalize. You've got to be careful. I've bought watches from Hong Kong. You can buy really fantastic deals. But, you know, the price, a bit too big, good to be true. This dial, I've never seen it. And also it's got blued hands. I'm not familiar with this model. A lot of things already don't match up, so I'm going to avoid that. Let's move down. This dials, there's all bits and bobs. Again, and this is another 650. This dial looks far too um, brand new. I think this is a redial. Um, and also, I don't think that model comes with that style of second hand. I might be wrong, but you know, you can research all these references. So, yeah, I would avoid that. So let's have a look at a few examples that I found already. Let's zoom out of this. Now this is an interesting one, and this is an example of a pretty good listing. So here we have a Tudor Prince day date, references uh, 76200, new with tags, uh, which is quite surprising because I think this model came out in the 90s, so it must be old stock. The the feedback is 99.6, not terribly bad. Actually, let's have a quick look at their feedback. This is the first thing I look at. I have a look at their feedback. I look at the breakdown. They've had one negative, one neutral. Yeah, and then let's have a look. They've sold things. It's feedback as seller, that's what you want to look at. Uh, seller is saying excellent, but actually but poor quality. This was about a camera, I think. So, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Most of the exchanges have been great. They sell mo mostly cameras, so they're not a watch specialist. And they're not a watch dealer. They sell a bit of bits and bobs. So this is probably a private account. Their feedback's not bad. However, it's not perfect. I tend to stick to 100% feedback. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at the listing and also the price right away. Pictures are pretty decent. And I can tell instantly it's the real thing. And I'll, I'll show you exactly why. If we look at mine, um, if we have a look at mine, right? Do you see how the, uh, the text uh, on the date, sorry, on the day complication is framed beautifully? Same with the day. Also, everything lines up. The logo, everything. The markers, everything. Let's have a look at this. As you can see, everything lines up. The positioning of the the, the logo, whoops, sorry, the text in the uh, day display. Uh, that's a little bit wonky, but I think it's to do with the angle of the um, of the camera. Uh, also, let's have a look how how new it is. If we look at these edges, if we always try and have a look at head on, look at the the, the corner of the um, the lugs. This hasn't been polished, hasn't been touched up. You can tell by the brushing, that direction of the brushing. It's like this, it goes like that, that way. You see it again here, it goes this way. Everything lines up beautifully. Look at the dots, look at the hands, look at the, this, the, um, I think this is just the reflection of light. The crisp, this is all crisply done. Zoom out a bit, this is, this is all framed nicely here. Uh, they've all included the picture of the box, and uh, they've even stupidly put the serial number, I think, is visible, which is, they shouldn't really do. Um, this is no expert watch seller, but ha having said that, the listing, um, and that definitely is the original bracelet, because I know this model. So if you would have done your research, you would have seen this. Um, this is really good condition. This is definitely real. Um, even got the stickers on the back. Without a doubt, I mean, if it's if it is a fake, it's the best fake on the planet. But I'm just telling you, look, look at look at the clasp. You know, from my experience, there's nothing here that indicates a little bit dodgy. There's nothing that you know. If you're ever in doubt, if you're in doubt, one percent. Um, you know, all the tags. They shouldn't post the serial number, but it doesn't matter. Um, everything matches up. 
Now they haven't included a picture of the uh, the back of the movement opened up because obviously this is uh, brand new, so they shouldn't really have to do that but you can then verify it later on uh, let's have a look at the listing include all the details let's see what they they put here in the under the condition new with tags brand new blah 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 blah. so yeah this looks legit this is definitely kosher I think if you were to buy this the chances are it would be absolutely fine my only issue is the price is a bit steep but it is new so that's definitely cool that's a good listing. Pictures are, are very good, I, I'd say. So um, this is a good listing. Let's move on to the next one. This is a. This is a. Um, let's just zoom out a little bit. This is a good example of a very good listing, and I'll definitely trust this person. They have 100% feedback. They have 772 feedback rating. Serviced with one year warranty. So they've serviced it. Let's have a look. The first picture is always very crisp and clear. I always like the uh, to see a shot of the watch face on so there is a bit of patina but that's good because it indicates that these are the original parts this is a date version obviously it's not the day day but look at the crit how weather at the shield how beautifully it's placed the text some of the pit blooms have faded if you look at mine some of them have disintegrated over time that is normal also there might be some discoloration on the day and date uh, and this one is quite crisp white. They've probably, they said they've had it serviced, so they might have replaced the um, the date wheel. But this is definitely legit. Uh, my concern is 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 um, if we just have a look up a little bit. Sorry, maybe a little bit of over polishing these edges. Um, are slightly different sized here and here. Uh, but it looks pretty good condition. Let's see another view. It's lost a little bit of its sharpness, but generally good. Lovely glass there. Um, lovely. This is obviously this is the reference. Uh, let's just zoom out again. This is the reference seven zero two nine. I'm not familiar with this one. Quite a bit older, and you can tell by the um, the patina, the original hands, which is good. There's a good shot. There's a really good shot. So there is a little bit of polishing work, but it's it's not taken too much off the, the actual shape. Uh, this is a little bit more polished than this side, just a smidgen. Uh, but the dial is beautiful. I, I love that minute and seconds. The price though, 2275 way too much. That, But it is best offer. So, you know, I would, I would give them a cheeky offer. You've got 15 watches. Nice detailed listing here. One year warranty with who? I guess with them. Um, so the case is 46 millimeters. What did I presume they mean? Like it's 37 millimeters. It's a jumbo. So 1970s. Yeah, it's pretty old. I think it's. I think their price is way over the top. Where are they located? Also, have a look at their returns policy. Seller does not offer returns. You are still protected by eBay if it does turn out to be completely fake. Uh, or let's say they send a watch that's not the one listed. You are still protected by eBay, um, but they do not offer a returns policy. That's a bit of a shame. Let's see if they included a shot of the movement. Now this is a, a really good shot, and you can tell it's the same strap as the one in the other picture, same background, so it's definitely matching. And I can tell you from experience, this is definitely the original movement, pretty much what my movement looks like. If you were to get this watch, you could go to a jeweler, have it open up and match it to this picture, taking this picture, make sure it's the same movement. Some parts may have been replaced um, in servicing, but it looks kosher to me. But this is a really good example of an excellent listing. However, the price is very optimistic, 2200 75 dollars no that's way over the top anyway good listing 100 percent feedback so you rest assured i think this would be a, a safe person to do business with um they got 100 percent feedback yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about that so yeah let's have a look at the next listing this is a day date again presidential um 100 percent feedback so already good good feedback rating price is pretty good one not you know 1900 a little bit on the steep side but it's uh, a day date and uh, all original you can instantly tell look at the font it's the same font on mine do you see that font it's the same font 
its original, the, the patina on the uh, hands, beautiful dial, really, really nice piece, really good macro photography here, lots of light. I don't think it's even been polished because it's got some nicks and bumps and you can see, if I just turn the brightness down, sorry, you can see the edge there, it matches on either side. They've even included a really good shot of the uh, movement there. This is an excellent listing. I would buy this without a doubt. I mean, I would email them, um, you know, 36 millimeter. everything matches, all the pictures are great, really good photography, you can see all the different angles. It's a little worn, look at, look at the, it's definitely been worn, but it hasn't been over polished. I'd actually prefer this to something that's been over polished. Tremendous character, it is a little on the pricey side, but you know, it's a day date guys, it's a day date, it's completely original, so it's, it's, it's got the original bracelet, these are the old, the really old kind of slightly cheap bracelets where they just it's the folded over parts as you see here I wish mine came with the bracelet that's what I do miss about mine but I am having fun dressing it up there's an excellent excellent shot of it head-on yeah this has definitely not been polished look at it, it it's exactly the same if we look at it this side we should be able to see yeah there you go there's the um, on the Tudors the it's like the Rolex is the um, seal numbers here, stainless steel, and, and this is definitely 100% real. There's no doubt about it. Really nice listing. Price is a little steep. Better safe than sorry. But better paying a little bit more and being able to sleep at night, you know. So let's have a look at the next one. Here we have a date for very very good price. 1165. Excellent price. Buy it now. 22 watches this will probably sell this watch is in very good condition 100% feedback excellent uh, their feedback is only 190 so let's have a look let's just double check what they've sold um, genuine Rolex dials they've sold watch parts that's a little bit disconcerting this is a private person because they've sold things like polo shirts and boots and shoes uh, feedbacks not that much but anyway let's go back and look at the watch one picture, mm, that's not good. Let's hope there's more in the listing. Wow, all it says is this Tudor 7400 sapphire crystal champagne dial, 18 karat yellow gold bezel, two tone bracelet. Watch in very good condition. Shame they have 100% feedback, but this is not enough information. This is not enough information, guys. This is the weakest description. I want to see, I want to know. You know, a good description should have everything about the, all the dimensions, uh, any damage. This All they've said is this watch is in very good condition. Bracelet shows minor wear. One photo, I can't even zoom in. No. Good price, but really shoddy listing. This person needs to fix up their... Um, their eBay game it's weak I can't see around you know I want to see a side shot I want to see the bracelet I can't take your word for it um, no return policy rubbish listing yeah they may have 100% feedback but I wouldn't buy it no 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 next one okay so here's an interesting one this is this is actually uh, my the same as my day date uh, the only difference being it does come with the bracelet which is plated unlike the um, the actual bezel and, and crown which is solid there's a few things that that kind of alarm bells are ringing first of all their feedback isn't 100 percent so you'd have to have a look at the feedback secondly look how crisp the 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 day wheel and the date is it's too wide. Look at mine. Look at how mine sits in the center of the uh, day. And then this is slightly cut off at the top. That's a telltale sign. It's It's been serviced or been replaced and a bit of shoddy work, really. Also, it's too crisp. This is from 1983, this watch. I believe this reference. Probably even earlier. Uh, the, it's got the original hands, but not the original um, day and date wheels. Uh, shame. Also, there's quite a bit of wear on it. Mine is in better condition. How much are they asking? 2,400. That's ridiculous. Make best offer. No. 
Absolutely not. This is an actual jewelry store in New York. It's interesting. Really good description. All the details are there, but yeah, first of all, the price is too much. Second of all, parts have been changed. Third of all, look at look at the terrible condition of that that bracelet. I mean, yeah, okay, that's what happens to plated gold. Also, there's no shot of the movement. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Dial is definitely real, definitely real. Hands are definitely. Real. I think most of the watch is real, but. Uh, and let's have a look at see if it's been over polished. I don't think so. Mm, it's lost a bit of crispness on that edge. No, I wouldn't touch this. Sorry. Okay, next one. Now this is ridiculous. 98%. That's a, not a good feedback score. 3,500, way over the top. They do say best offer, but I think the price is, is too much. Pictures are not too bad. I think it's original. Uh, this lines up nicely, got the correct patina for this a model this age. Um, I think it might have been over polished a little bit. I'm looking at those edges. A little bit too polished up for, for my liking for, for a piece this old. You know, it should look a little bit more beaten up. Mm, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Because the pictures are so bright, you can't. Not, what's in focus here? That, yeah, that. Hmm. I think it's been over. Look, look at that. Look how thin that is there. Can you guys see that? This is too thin. This has definitely been over polished. I wouldn't touch this with a barge pole. Rubbish pictures. Way over the top, expensive. 98 feedback. No. Let's see the description. Yeah, that's all they offer. Box and papers, doesn't matter. It's overpriced. Rubbish. Not having that. Sorry. Okay, so let's have a look at a good listing. Let's find a good listing. This is a pretty good one. 100% feedback. Very nice pictures. Everything looks original. Everything looks of its period. Uh, have we got over polishing? Good picture on really good pictures. Lots of detail. Let's have a look at the listing. Here we are, decent listing there. Let's see some more pictures. This has definitely been polished. I mean, look at it, it's like a mirror finished. I mean, actually they haven't done a bad job. It's a bit concerned about the bracelet though, but I think it's been, has it been over polished? Yeah, you can see here, this, this should be brushed and this is polished, right? Some of the Polishing has gone onto the brushed surface, very minor, but you know, yeah, it's been really high polished. Shame. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. It looks almost like new. You know, this is this is a watch from I'm judging from the 80s from the reference. Yeah, we've got a nice linen dial. The dial is lovely. Uh, the price one four nine nine. Mm, a little expensive. A little expensive. Okay, here we go. Now this is an example of a really good listing and a really, really good example of a day date. This is almost perfect, uh, except the price. Now, <laughs> price is $3,600. Very expensive. It is make an offer. And this is actually from Japan. Now Japan is probably a little bit of a gold mine when it comes to watches. The Japanese generally really do look after their watches. You'll find a lot of great deals because they like the smaller sizes when they come to do their listings. As you see here, let me just move the camera, sorry. They are meticulous. They list every single detail. All, I mean, tons of information about the delivery, ter terms of sale, about them. And actually I have bought from these people. This is called Irano 1121, 100% feedback, 1,600 feedback rating. That's a really good score. Perfect. Now, the price is high, but you know what? If I was getting a day date, this is almost perfect. Uh, look at those crisp edges, completely symmetrical. Look at that. Look at that. Everything is crisp and clean. Look at how beautifully that sits in a 
crisp white, the lettering, the position of everything. This is the perfect day date. And you know what? I'd make them on an offer of just below 3,000 and then work it out, but you know, negotiate. But it's worth paying extra to get that pristine. I mean, if, you, if you're going to own this for the rest of your life, it's a beautiful example of a day date. Uh, a 36 millimeter day date absolutely gorgeous this is a perfect list this is what a listing should look like it is just perfect lots of details um, the only thing they're missing is an, a shot of the inside but I think it's so new you don't have to do that I trust these people 100% they don't have to put the picture of the inside I would love this day date I'd snap it up myself 3600 yep it is steep but if you can get them to come under three grand I'd I'd buy it. I'd snap it up. All original. You got the box. You got everything. Gorgeous. Wow! It's still got stickers on the uh, clasp. This is a phenomenal example of a day date. Okay, and here's the guy that sold me my day date. Now this is the seller. One hundred percent feedback. Let's just zoom in there. M A. What is it? M A. Ma and one. M A H A N D one. He's got a hundred percent feedback rating 3136 so really exceptional feedback uh, this is a little 35 millimeter day date this is basically a blue dial version uh, like mine the price is 1275 good very good price 29 people watching this is definitely original date but this is a bit too crisp might have been replaced he hasn't brushed it to hell so it's fairly good condition I think it is all original let's see what he says beautiful pictures Oh, good shot of the inside, uh, which is, was the same for, for mine. Um, he, yeah, this is how I got mine in a little pouch like that. Yeah, I think this is kosher. Probably had some work done in it. Let's see if he uh, said original movement in excellent condition. Recently serviced in oil. Case is uh, original stainless steel, blah, blah, blah. Um, the dial has been refinished by Rolex. Um, so I think the dial, maybe some parts of it are, have been reserviced and fixed up. Yeah, this is a good example. This, this is an odd, odd reference because it's 35 millimeters. It wears like a 36, uh, but it has the, um, the 20 millimeter lug width, which is great for straps. I would buy this. I think this is a good deal. 1,275. Yeah, it's got a bit of patina but it, it looks all original, it looks kosher. Yeah, I think that's good. It's somebody I've, I've done business before and I would go for this, definitely, definitely. And you know, just even though he's got 100% feedback, I would take it obviously to be checked out. So anyway guys, I think I'm gonna leave it there because we've had a look at quite a few listings. Gorgeous blue, absolutely gorgeous. There's, there's a nice bit of patina and has that lovely um, sunburst effect but yeah somebody will snap this up that price anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there let's take it back to the studio okay welcome back guys so without further ado let's jump into an unboxing now of course the full review will follow hopefully next week I don't want to hold on to these too long because uh, I'm sure Arthur is going to miss them and of course a massive thank you to Arthur for making this possible let's switch perspectives and have a closer look now this was a bit of a last minute thing and I should give also a shout out to my good friend Epic Snuggle Bunny, <laughs> fantastic channel, uh, who gave me this beautiful Spyderco knife uh, which I'll be using and I've got to admit it's a bit naughty, I shouldn't really use it to open sticky plastic but I just love it, this knife so much, it's just so well designed, ergonomic, it's just so beautiful to use. Anyway, so I'll be using the uh, Spyderco. So once again, thank you to my good friend, Epic Snuggle Bunny. Check out his channel if you haven't already. He's got a really good Instagram account as well. There you go. Right. So, oh, it's a letter in the top. So have a look. Wow, he's written a beautiful, beautiful letter. I'm not going to read it out because it's a little bit private, but I will just share something says hi, say hi to Ernest so I certainly will I'm gonna read this later uh, Arthur I will I will reply to you personally but thank you so much anyway let's have a little look now what on earth is this 
So what is this? Oh wow! Fantastic. He's also sent a beautiful gift. Look at that. Beautiful pencils. Another of my collecting hobbies. I hope you like them. Oh, thank you so much, Arthur. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look. Look at these pencils. So this is really going to be useful for me, especially my drawing. So thank you so much for that. Oh, that's giving it away already. One Seiko. And what else do we have? Let's have another look. And another, so a double Seiko unboxing. Let me just remove the box. There we go. So here we are. Now, I'm new to this, the new Nano Universe, but I do all I do know it is a limited edition. So let's have a look. Let's have, let's open it up. Drum roll, please. Oh wow! Wow, look at that. That's a proper field watch. So give it a bit of a wind. Off she goes. Look at that. Oh wow, there's a display back. I've never seen a, uh, a Seiko that came on a NATO strap. So something new. Oh wow, there's a... It's a smoke tinted... You can just see the movement in there. I. That's the 4R35B movement. Nano Universal, very cool indeed. I can't wait to review this. Look at those numerals. Fantastic. So this is a limited edition. I know next to nothing about this watch, but of course I will research it and do all the research for the, uh, the full review. Wow, look at those hands, those plunger hands. Beautiful. Those beautiful plunger hands. Absolutely gorgeous date at six o'clock oh, look at the finishing extraordinary absolutely extraordinary very very nice indeed very cool so this is a special edition uh, Japanese domestic uh, model very excited to review that let's have a look at the uh, second one so I have no idea what's in this one so drum roll please Oh wow, so this is the presage. Wow, look at that, it looks like a very nice strap. So this is, of course it's all in Japanese. <laughs> SRX027, presage, made in Japan. Fantastic, look at that. That's, it's funny, why do they put the uh, the buckle on this, this hand anyway? 6R15C, which we know so well. Um, so we know this movement very, very well. Got a kind of almost like a pocket watch style crown to it. Oh, it's already going. Look at those hands. Gorgeous. It really does look like a pocket watch. Very classic. Very classic indeed. And this beautiful kind of cream, almost enamel looking dial. Gorgeous. Very smart. Um, nice size too, I think. Very nice size, quite thick, but actually I think it adds to its its quite its charm. Very interesting. Can't wait to. Gosh, look at this strap. For the, for the first time, I'm actually impressed by the uh, the straps that it came with. Usually, the straps are a letdown, but um, this time around, gorgeous. Really, really nice. Wow, that's interesting. There's no anchor to the um, second hand. Uh, initial impressions, well, guys, you know what I think about the Japanese domestic uh, releases. They're always top quality, something different, something a bit special from, you know, the international releases. Incredible quality, very cool designs. Very much looking forward to reviewing them, so stay tuned. Anyway, let's take it back to the studio. Okay, welcome back, guys. Now, before I go, I wanted to add a few things to the end of this video. And of course, it's uh, very late now. <laughs> I just had an extremely long day. Not only am I doing the channel, but I am working part-time uh, to pay those medical bills off, unfortunately. But such is life. So before I go, I just wanted to remind you guys, there is a part two and a part one. Part one was 10 questions you should ask, absolutely ask before buying any watch. 
uh, on eBay online or in a store. Now I'll add a link to that down below in the description so please check that out before you buy any timepieces. It also applies to uh, buying on eBay. Uh, we did cover quite a bit of it today. Part two is more of a basics, you know, uh, really beginner stuff uh, but valuable to learn all the same if you're new to watches. Stuff like, you know, what is quartz compared to mechanical, the terminology, complications, the basics. Um, so if you need to, a bit of assistance in what it all means, uh, then please check out that video. Again, link down below. Now finally, before we go, I've got to say a massive shout out to Federico. He just hit 10,000 subscribers, absolutely fantastic. A massive congratulations to him. He really deserves it, an absolute, top bloke and i'm just honored to call him a very good friend of mine uh it's been uh, it's uh, it's only been a couple of months but it feels like i've known him for years uh, that's when you know you got a good friend but anyway a uh, big shout out to my good friend uh, federico of course please don't forget to add your thoughts queries questions opinions all the rest of it down below in the comments i really love hearing all your feedback thank you very very much for watching and please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it found it useful it really does help me so please don't forget to hit that like button and as always guys i'll catch you in the next one okay ciao